have to fail. You look at the most successful innovators actually also fail the most. And, and it's, a, it's a very specific mindset that needs to develop. You need a pipeline of new ideas coming, coming down the line. You need to be able to live with the fact they fail. You need to look at what happens inside the parent organization with failures. You know, in some organizations, if you're in charge of a project that failed, your career is over. And that whole mindset has to be changed. Just because we know a nasty change is coming down the line does not mean that we can get us, ourselves and our organizations and our strategies in a good shape to deal with it. And it is actually extraordinarily difficult for legacy organizations to respond to these kinds of changes. And that is why you see things like the, the company that, managing to solve, that manages to solve digital downloading is Apple, a consumer electronics company from outside the music industry. And uh, you know, um, why, why are Facebook, Twitter, Google, why are they essentially new companies? And it's very hard actually for existing companies to make the shift into these new environments. Now, if you look at Google, Google releases things before they're finished. They release the better version, and they use the feedback from the public to, for, to finalize it. But the problem is that exactly it's in the middle and lower and peripheral areas where all the good solutions are going to come from. So you also have to have um, mechanisms to capture those ideas and bring them back in. But really, th those kind of little, little laboratories are probably where the new ideas are going to come from. If you're successful enough generating new ideas around the fringes, the second problem is you then have to migrate them back into the parent. So it's a huge organizational management strategic challenge.